Hello guys, is this age of indie horror breakouts finally over? You know the games, games like, you know, in some games that I include of these indie get breakouts, our games like Undertale and Fortnite, but is the age of indie breakouts over? We do have one, the Untitled Goose game, but that's a meme game, it's not meant to be. Untitled Goose game does not have a meaningful, does not have a meaningful amount of war. There's not a ton of people making theories about Untitled Goose game, because it's just a game where you play as a goose and you bother people. What happened to the other famous indie games, such as Five Nights at Freddy's and all these other games? Where are they now? Where are all these indie horror breakouts and indie breakouts out? Games like Fortnite, PUBG, and various other games. So, we're not going to be games, talking about games like, you know, Yandere Simulator are basically dead now. So, we to go over right the first game. What's happened to Five Nights at Freddy's? So, this is a game franchise that came out in 2014. The last game in the FNAF franchise was FNAF Help Wanted VR, which was exclusive for VR systems. And there are five, there are six games, and there are four spin-offs as well. There's also play, there's also FNAF. There's now we don't know if there's any games, and we don't know what will be the next game in this franchise. But FNAF seems to be still getting games, and still, and there's still also the movie in development. There's still all the movie in development, so, you know. And, it is the first of many indie breakouts that I have talked about in the past. Next is the game called Undertale. Undertale is a very overrated game. It came out in 20, according to some people online, it's better than Zelda Ocarina of Time, which I do not, which is definitely not, because it's easily the most overrated game of all time. Yes, these are Undertale fanboys are just annoying. But what happened to this game? Undertale isn't really as popular anymore, except for annoying meme people who are try, memers who try to force sands down everybody's throats. You know, those guys who got sand to the Super Smash Brothers. This game probably, this game's fan base still existed as a live, didn't exist as a live as 2015, or everyone was obsessed with Undertale. And then, in 2018, Undertale was all forgotten about, but then, Delta Rune came out, which was related to Undertale, which is made by the same developer as Undertale. He also made some Earthbound hacked. Which kind of got forgotten because you know Earthbound is a dead franchise. Besides the few people who still um, are obsessive over it, but Undertale it came back with Delta Rune, and then Delta Rune came out, and we haven't heard anything since then. It's October 2019, and almost the end of October 2019, and we still haven't heard of anything about Delta Rune Chapter Two or anything else. It is even on Nintendo Switch as well. Both games. Next game is then we had 2017 where a myriad of indie games came out. First game is Benny and the Ink Machine. Do not know why people are obsessed with this game. Were well, obsessed with this game. It wasn't even that great. Was well, it even that scary? Benny just popped up at you and said, "Hi, I'm Benny. I'm here to annoy you." And is this franchise still alive? Do people really talk about this franchise? The chapter, they actually, it was a episode. oh I hate those types of games, episodic games, okay? The first chapter released a, a year ago, and all we got was a book <laughs> since then. There was also a spin-off to B Bendy, which was released on the iPhone, and that was it. Nothing else really happened with this franchise. Maybe there might be a part two to Bendy if people really, really want it. And of course, Bendy kept trying to push themselves in other things like Hell Neighbor and Cuphead. Next is Cuphead. This game is a pretty weird game as it's only for the Xbox One. But the, when the game came out, people were saying, oh my god, this ad looks so cool. It's, you know, 80s. But then Cuphead got a fan base. And when I go to watch these games, became there were people who are obsessive over this game. Cuphead isn't really a bad game, it's really just its fan base, and it even has a show coming on 
specifically only on Netflix, but overall, Cuphead is another indie game that just came out in 2017. And the problem of Cuphead is kind of overexposed as a series. Next is Hello Neighbor. So Hello Neighbor is a game that came out in 2017 that Game Theory kept trying to hype up as this greatest game or one of the greatest games or as this really interesting game. Spoiler world, it wasn't. Hello Neighbor got a prequel and a add-on, Secret Neighbor. And nothing really happened. It got a prequel and a add-on called Secret Neighbor in 2019. And this is what prompted me, and of course, this will probably be a major video, because, you know, Hello Neighbor got a see is I was like, these games are still alive? Because on Xbox, there was a game called Secret Neighbor, so I decided to go, what were all the other indie breakouts? What happened to them? So, most of these games, next game is easily one of my least favorite games of 2017, is Doki Doki Ridge Club. It has, you know, this game has no storyline. This game has been nothing but a controversial game because of the whole thing that happened with someone who basically inspired like a murder based off this game. But overall, after the game, according to game theory, like, these girls from Doki Doki Wizard Club will be in another game, but it has been two years now and there's really no announcement. And basically, nothing happened with Doki Doki Wizard Club. The game is basically forgotten by now, we said, except for, you know, weeaboos, who are, who probably vap to Doki Doki Wizard Club characters every day. Um, and then the last game is Baldi's Basics. This is a game that became popular last year. So Baldi's Basics is a game that came out last year, and for some reason it became super popular. It wasn't even a high quality game, okay? This is when, and this is where indie horror breakouts basically got into the lowest. Baldi's Basics was a game that everyone was talking about. It came out in March of 31st, 2018. And then on May, yes, Baldi's Basics became popular because Markiplier played it. And you know, all these games have something in common. It's, they become popular because popular YouTubers play these games. And Baldi's ba and there's also another game called Granny and Tattletale that became forgotten in the sands of time. Yeah, I remember those games, you know, everybody talked about those games as well, but Telltale and Granny, those games became forgotten in the sands of time. And Telltale and, and, and Granny Granny have been forgotten as, you know, FNAF clones. But both these basics came out, um, and basically what happened with both these basics, we did, we never, it's a game that came out in 2018, and... I don't even know if it has a Wikipedia article. It does have a Wikipedia article, so it, it, even then, that the full game will be released in 12 time away 2019. Full game demo was released to the public, so yes, yeah, still, still Bowie. So Bowie's Basics is still in development. So Bowie's Basics is not even out yet, and it's in 2020. So yes, Bowie's Basics is still. In the race, what we talk about the two other games, Tattletale. Does any, does, has anyone heard of this name since 2016? Tattletale is a game on Steam about Furbies. Yes, it's a game. It's a little game about Furbies that turn evil, kind of like you know Gremlins. It's kind of like a Gremlin, but it's kind of like Gremlins, but it's with you know Furbies. Okay, that's the closest thing you can get in relate this game to. It's just kind of like Gremlins with Furbies. Um. And Tattletale kind of got forgotten past 2017, because there wasn't really much to this game. It did come out, and everybody forgot about it. Do you think of the game Granny? Yes, this is a little game. Granny Game. This game came out in 2017, and became popular around early 2018. And, like of all the dead memes, it kind of died besides this video called World well, Granny with Spongebob. Yes. At least there was, um, G uh, Spongebob version of this game. Granny became popular, and like most other free games, it kind of died down. The last update was in April 24, 2014, and we haven't really heard much about the game because there isn't really much to this game like Tattletale. And that's basically it. What happened to the indie horror breakouts? Now you know. 
Goodbye.